Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to tackle a question that many aspiring construction professionals are asking. Is a construction management degree worth it? If you're interested in pursuing or advancing a career in construction, you may have considered getting a degree in construction management yourself. There's tons of job opportunities and career paths throughout the construction industry. So let's talk about whether or not a degree is a wise investment of your time and money. Let's go. So before we dive into the pros and cons of getting a construction management degree, let's first understand what it entails. A construction management degree is a specialized program that focuses on the principles of construction, project management, and business administration. It typically covers topics such as construction techniques, construction law, project scheduling, budgeting, and team management. I'm gonna include an example of a construction management college curriculum in the description below. And although it may vary depending on the college or university, this should give you a good understanding of some of the basic expectations. So cutting to the chase, I do believe a degree in construction management can be worthwhile for certain individuals and I'll explain why. The degree provides a decent foundation in construction principles and project management, which would be beneficial for those looking to advance in a specific leadership role role within the industry. Unless you're planning on running your own construction company, which I'll just say is a fantastic career path in my opinion, there are typically two paths of advancement within construction management, both through the office and through the field. So the first career path I'm going to talk about is through the project management side or the office side of things, which has a typical career path as follows. First, you'll start off as an intern, make your way up to a project engineer, then an assistant project manager, and then you'll be a project manager once you've got a few projects under your belt. From there, you work your way into senior project management, and then to project executive and director levels, and then to VP of operations or similar. You can Google pay scales based on current regions and companies to get an idea of what to expect in each of these positions. Different companies have different job titles, so these are gonna vary as well. Now, there are tons of other roles such as estimating, scheduling, virtual design, designing construction, owner's representation that all fit into this world of construction management, but they all follow similar career path advancement. All advancement really depends on the amount of risk and the amount of dollars that you're capable of managing. If you can manage more risk and more dollars, you'll both advance your career a little bit quicker and make more money along the way. Now, I know plenty of people that are at the project management level with degrees in both engineering and construction management, as well as tons of individuals with non-construction related degrees or no degrees at all, which we'll revisit in just a minute. The second career path I'm going to talk about is actually through field management, in which a typical career path is as follows. First, you're going to start off as an apprentice, someone brand new to the industry. Then you're going to work yourself through a specialized trade, such as a cement finisher, rough carpentry, electrical, plumbing, mechanical, so on and so forth. So after you work yourself through a specialized trade, you can work into a foreman role where you'll run a small crew of your own on a job site. And after foreman, you can become a superintendent, running the entire job site in all specialized trades. After superintendent, you can advance into a director of field construction or operations or similar where you'll run multiple superintendents and multiple jobs. Now, of all the construction superintendents I've worked with, I've only known a couple individuals that had a degree in construction, yet superintendents are paid similar to those in project management roles, all depending on experience level. Superintendents typically advance their careers through site experience, which is why a degree is not necessary. Superintendents with a vast knowledge of building construction, the ability to delegate and lead, as well as a great understanding understanding of scheduling all open themselves up to way more opportunities. So this partially answered the question, is a degree necessary to advance your career within construction? My answer to that is absolutely not depending on your desired role. I also want to stress that a degree is not a substitute for field or project experience, which is necessary when advancing your career regardless of your role. You'll learn more about actual construction in the first year on a job site than you'll learn from any major university over the course of four years. What you won't learn on a job site in construction is construction administration, construction law, and majority of the other things that a project manager deals with on a day-to-day -day basis, which you will get exposure to from a university or subscribing to my channel. Bruh. So why get a degree in construction management? In my honest opinion, college degrees and resumes are built into our business culture. Whether this is a good or bad thing is a discussion on its own, but having a degree will most certainly open up other doors and opportunities that you would not have had before. Many construction companies and employers prefer candidates with formal education and training in construction management as it demonstrates a commitment to the profession and a level of expertise. So speaking from personal experience, it took me four years of my life to complete my education and $55,000 of debt in order to just get my foot in the door at a major construction 
company. I have no family in construction and I had limited experience in networking going into this. So I don't believe I could have had done this without a degree. Keep in mind, those costs are from over 10 years ago. So you'll need to adjust your costs and expectations according to current times as I'm a huge advocate of avoiding debt in general and just being smart about your debt if you are going to pursue that. An education of $55,000 at 6% interest would require payments of $550 a month for 10 years and a total cost of $66,000. I'll drop a link to a loan calculator in the description below so you can look up current costs and plug in current loan interest rates based on the cost of credit hours so you can calculate what your total might be. So when considering the drawbacks, does the debt make sense? Well, even with the education, construction is so complex that you need to spend a lot of hours advancing your knowledge in order to make your job and life easier after you graduate. I would say the average work week for a construction project manager is anywhere from 50 to 60 hours per week. This is all dependent on your company, your workload, and your prior experience. So according to salary.com, the nationwide average pay for a construction project manager is currently at $113,000. But again, this all depends on your location, region, and your experience. Also, according to salary.com, the national average pay for a superintendent is hovering around $109,000. Superintendents typically put in about the same amount of hours that a project manager would. The main difference is that superintendents who come up strictly through the field with no formal education typically hit that role on average a little bit later in their careers because companies want to put the most experienced individuals in those positions first. So the same holds true on the project management side with companies wanting to put more experienced professionals on projects with higher risk. The project management career path to reach those higher salaries is typically faster than a superintendent, but remember to consider those four years of setback where you might not be earning any income in addition to the debt you might be taking on. But I really want to emphasize how much control you actually have with your own career path and your own advancement, which is highly dependent on how much you just want to push yourself into those roles and those positions. So what's the difference between a project manager and a superintendent? Well, as simple as I can explain it, a project manager's job is to get the contractors lined up and to get the material to the job site. A superintendent's role is to manage those contractors once they're on the job site and to get that material installed. Both roles have responsibilities of their own and both roles have responsibilities that overlap. Both roles manage risk and the more risk you manage often leads to a higher pay in construction. So in summary, a construction management degree is worth it for certain roles and especially if you're looking to open up new doors and new opportunities. However, a degree is 100% not necessary to make a great living within the industry. There are tons of individuals in the trades that make way more money than project management positions, so it's all about weighing the pros and cons and what you want out of life. And once you're confident in managing risk, you can always take a look at running your own construction company. Construction's been around since the start of civilization and it's not going anywhere. So if you're interested in continuing your construction education and you haven't checked out my channel yet, I'd highly recommend it. I cover a variety of construction related topics to help those advance their careers beyond a traditional education and I'm always available for both personal and professional questions. Feel free to either drop a comment below or send me an email. I'll include my email address in the description below. So as always, be better, build better, and bye for now. Aww.